Hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are talking about metric measurements as an analogy for the decimal system. We're in our math journals on pages 95 and 96. Uh, we are uh, on Unit 3, Lesson 11. And uh, before we get started, let's talk a little bit about base 10 blocks. Okay, you might use these tools in your classroom to help you understand place value, but did you know that the base 10 block, this unit 1, is exactly 1 centimeter wide by 1 centimeter tall by 1 centimeter deep? Uh, that is not by accident. Uh, these base 10 blocks are also a great tool for discussing length and uh, volume when we talk about to measuring volume later on in uh, fourth grade. But uh, for our purposes today, we're going to be talking about the cubes, the ones, and then these rods or longs of 10. These are groups of 10, okay? So if you take a look at the table uh, for problem number one, it says, fill in the missing information, put longs and cubes end-to-end -end on a meter stick to help you, okay? So if you look up here at the top, if you have a length of 36 centimeters, uh, 36 centimeters is three longs and six cubes uh, in length, which would be 36 hundredths of a meter, or 0.36 meters, okay? Now, longs and cubes in this analogy are really, we're just talking about tenths, and we're talking about hundredths. Because if a cube is one centimeter wide, and there are a hundred centimeters in a meter, then the cube is one one hundredth of a meter. Same with the longs or the uh, rods. Uh, a long is 10 centimeters wide, so that means it is one-tenth of a meter because 10 times 10 is 100, and there are 100 centimeters in a meter. Okay. So when we are talking about longs and cubes, what we're really doing here is talking about tenths and hundredths of a whole. And the whole, or the one is the meter. So let's take a look at this table, shall we? Uh, if I just have three cubes, or three hundredths, that is equivalent to three centimeters. Three cubes, three centimeters. So what does that mean for meters? Well, if I have three centimeters, that would be three hundredths of a meter. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but a centimeter has the word cents in, built into that word, just like our money system. Uh, there are a hundred cents to a dollar, okay? C-E-N-T is a building block of a word that talks about 100. So that's why there are a hundred years in a century, or a centipede is thought to have 100 legs. That's what cent stands for. When we deal with percents, okay, we are dealing with fractions out of 100. Uh, so when we are dealing with centimeters, uh, we're dealing with hundredths of a whole. Okay? So, for example, if I look at uh, this example right here where I have four tenths and three hundredths Four tenths plus three hundredths gives me 43 centimeters, otherwise known as 0 0.43 meters. Okay? So that's how you would go about filling out that table. Now, let's take a look at the next set of problems. It says, uh, compare the lengths and use uh, less than, greater than, or equal to record results. Okay? So... In this example, they ask you to work with a partner uh, and use base 10 blocks to manipulate. Now, if you are playing along at home in a, uh, a virtual uh, 
classroom scenario, you won't have a partner to work with, so you might have to just do this all by yourself. But you guys are smart, and I bet you'll all be able to figure it out individually. So for example, number two says 0 0.09 is blank compared to 0 0.12. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the number to the left of my uh, decimal point right here. They are both zeros, so that means they are less than one. So then I look towards the number immediately to the right of the decimal point. Those are the tenths. Okay. Now on the left-hand side, the number has no tenths, but on the right-hand side, it has one tenth. Okay. And one is more than zero, so that means that this number here would be less than this number. So nine hundredths is less than twelve hundredths, or one tenth and two hundredths. Okay. Now in comparison, down here at number five, again I have two numbers that uh, begin with a zero because there are no whole numbers. And then you're going to notice that uh, I'm missing a digit uh, on the right-hand side. It just says 0 0.5 compared to 0 0.18. Now again, when I look at the tenths place value to the right of the decimal, I have a 1 on the left-hand side and a 5 on the right. And of course, 5 is bigger than 1. Now you probably notice that there's no digit for the hundredths. That's because when there's no digit, it's assumed that we mean zero. Five tenths is the same as fifty hundredths. So if I have five dimes, that's the same amount of money as fifty pennies. So if I pay the cashier five dimes, uh, that's enough for a fifty cent uh, uh, pack of gum. Okay. So we're going to compare these values according to the place values, uh, comparing where digits lie on either side of the decimal point. Okay. For problem number eight, you have this uh, centimeter ruler. It's not a true meter stick because it only goes 15. It says follow these directions on the ruler below. Use base 10 blocks to help you. It says make a dot. Uh, at four centimeters and label it with the letter A. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So here's four. So I'm just going to put a little dot right here. I'm going to label it A. Okay. Now, if I skip over to uh, letter D, it says make a dot at the 0 0.08 meter uh, mark and label it with the letter D. Now, as you can see, they're only dealing with whole numbers here, whole centimeters, okay? But the measurement that they gave you was in meters, so I have to just translate that, oh, eight hundredths of a meter is the same as eight centimeters, because eight centimeters is less than a whole meter, okay? But here's the number eight, so I'm going to put a dot right there. I'll label it D. So for B and C, they just give you the measurements in, in parts of a meter versus centimeters. All right. Now, finally, we see some columns and some tables that are blank. And it's kind of a, like an input-output type of project, a function machine. So, for example, on number one, on page 96, you see that there are 100 meters... Or I'm sorry, 100 centimeters for every meter. So if I have 2 meters, how many centimeters is that? Well, I'm just going to multiply that number by 100. So what's 2 times 100? Well, that would be 200. What's 10 times 100? Well, that would be 10 with two zeros behind it. So whenever I multiply anything by 100, I'm just adding two zeros behind it. So 10 groups of 100 is another way of saying 1,000. Now, on the table uh, for number two, I'm just reversing uh, the idea that uh, 
a fraction of a meter is centimeters, okay? So if I have 23 hundredths of a meter, what I really have is 23 centimeters. So what I do here is I look at where that decimal point is, and I just move it one, two spaces to the right. That's what you do when you multiply a number by 100. You're basically pushing the digits across uh, two places, okay, to the left. Okay, so when I deal with one hundredth of a meter, I'm just dealing with one centimeter. One, two spots there. One hundredth of a meter is one centimeter because I just move the decimal point two spaces over to the right. And then uh, for number three, we're dealing with groups of 10 centimeters. Now again, there are 100 centimeters to one meter. And if I have a group of 10 centimeters, that's still less than one meter, okay? But with 10 centimeters, what I would do is I would take the decimal point and I would just put it to the left of the digit, okay? So I have 0 0.10 meters, or a tenth of a meter, okay? So when I'm dealing with groups of 10 centimeters, those are groups of tenths. So 20 centimeters would be 0 0.20 meters, or I can just ignore that zero to the right of the two and just say 0 0.2. Both of those versions are correct. Okay. If you have any questions on the metric system or uh, centimeters or meters or decimals in general, uh, Talk to your uh, math teachers. Uh, we are here to help. And if you have questions, we've got the answers, or we will try to answer them for you. All you have to do is ask. Uh, until next time, friends, we will talk again soon. Thanks.